Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches, and I'm here today with a topper extravaganza video. I think that's what I'm going to call it because I basically just pulled out all of my favorite toppers and I'm going to show you how I like to wear them, what combinations I like to make, and hopefully you'll find it informative, if not at least entertaining watching me combine all these different polishes. So I actually can't take credit for this video concept. It was the idea of my favorite rat, and it's not Ratatouille, it is at CGI Gay Rats on Instagram. She's just my favorite. And um, if you're not following her, then you absolutely should. I will link her in the description. But anyway, she was like, show me how you pair your toppers with your nail polishes. And I was like, challenge accepted. So of course, I don't think that there is a right way to combine polishes and toppers whatsoever. This is like a take it or leave it kind of video. These are just the ways that I like to pair toppers because I am like the topper collector. I mean, it's shameful how many toppers I have and sadly I don't wear them as much as I should. So this was sort of a really good awakening for me to realize even to myself how much I love toppers and how I can basically put them over top of any manicure ever. The other thing I want to note is that I tried really hard to pick toppers that are still available for purchase. There are a few that are just like near and dear to my heart. They're no longer available, so I'm sorry about that, but most of them are. And then the polishes that I layered them over, most of those unfortunately are not available anymore. I feel like more than 50% of my collection is limited edition polishes and I'm fully blaming the polish pickup for that because that's kind of how I buy nail polishes now. So I'm sorry, but hopefully you won't hate me and hopefully you will find some comparable polishes in your collection and you can try out your own combos. That is a lot of preamble. I will kindly ask that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. That lets me know if you like this kind of content and let's just get into it. So for the very first pairing of toppers and bases that I'm gonna do, I am going to do multi-chrome bases with hollow flaky toppers. So this one is Cirque Colors Delirium and this one is incredible. It is so densely packed. The flakes are super uniform and so holographic. And here we have hollow taco, flaky hollow taco. And in a similar way to Delirium, this also has really small flakes. It's super holographic and really, really beautiful. But as you can see, depending on what you like, the hollow taco is a little less densely packed and the sizes are a little more irregular than the Delirium topper. So I just think multi-chromes look incredible with a flaky hollow top coat. I know that you can kind of get polishes that look like this, but the way that the toppers sit on the multi-chrome is just magic to me. You can't replicate that with all-in-one polishes. And now I'm going to continue with the little tiny flaky hollow toppers. This one is ILNP My Private Rainbow X, and I'm pairing it over a really shimmery base. As you can see, this girly bits is beautiful, and this topper is super delicate, and I think it works really well with a shimmer base. And the next polish is Paint It Pretty Polish Disco Ball, and this one has larger hollow flake particles, but it's just perfectly proportioned. I don't know if that makes sense, but the distribution of the flakes in the base is incredible. You can see here just how sparkly both of these toppers are, so I also recommend flaky toppers flaky hollow toppers over shimmery bases. I think it works really well and it's just super beautiful. So next up, I'm going to be using multi-chrome flake toppers and these are the bases that I'm starting off with. So Paint It Pretty Polish put out an incredible collection of toppers made with multi-chrome flakes. I've got a video, I'll link it in the cards. And I think that these kinds of toppers look really good over a linear hollow polish. And now this is KB Shimmer Soul Amazing, which is very golden. It's the same kind of flakes that are in 
soul wet and soul blue and that whole collection of polishes and she made a topper which I think was such a smart idea in this case I went with a red base that's really shimmery because I think it just creates like a beautiful chaos when you've got a shimmery base with its own beauty going on and then an iridescent flaky topper like this that just really catches the light in different angles so that's my tips on those type of toppers and as you can see I'm just kind of obsessed watching it I love it so much so I'm continuing with the multi-chrome flaky toppers and one of my favorites of all time is KB Shimmer Off Tropic this one features like a rainbow of multi-chrome flakes and I think it looks really good over something like Perfectly Suited, which is shimmery. It has its own hollow already in it. So adding this over top works really well in my opinion. And then on my other finger, I'm using the most adorable topper ever. It's ILNP Confetti. It has really tiny little multicolored flakes in a clear base. And I also layered it over a shimmery polish that has its own hollow in it. Because I think the way that these flaky toppers sit on top of the nail looks really good. And like I said, you can get polishes that combine all of these elements. But when you use it as a topper, like you can see here, the flakes really stand out. I think it really pops on the nail in a different way than if it was combined into the polish. And it's just really fun. And now we are moving to a very beautiful topper that I love so much. It's Rogue Lacquer Batsy. This one is a black, I guess it's just a black flaky topper in a clear base. And I basically want to show this over everything because I think it works well over everything. But in particular, I love it over something super shimmery like this wildflower lacquer on my index finger. And then again, over a metallic flaky polish on my middle nail. It's just amazing. And I know like Rogue Lacquer makes polishes that have the black flakes in them but it looks so cool when you just see it sitting on the nail and it's not integrated and the other good thing about this is that as you can see here you can apply it really sparsely or you can go very dense so i started off sparsely i built it up a little bit but i just think this is a really fun combination because the KB Shimmer Easy Glowing or any polish like that already has its own iridescent flakes in it. But then when you set these black flakes on top of the nail, I think it's just magical. And I did the same thing with Pictureless on my other nail. Same thing, a really pretty shimmery base that already has its own hollow in it. And then you add the black flakes on top and it gives you, it's, I'm going to say like kind of emo punk rock because of the black flakes. So that's my advice. Next up we have iridescent flaky toppers and on my index I'm taking a very beautiful delicate shimmery polish and I'm applying a delicate flaky over top and then on my middle finger I'm using a linear hollow again also delicate also pretty it's a very beautiful cirque color polish and I'm layering this one's like an iridescent glitter topper from girly bits I wanted to show it previously in the bottle because you kind of can't see what's going on on the nail except in certain lighting you will see it so on my index finger I did build that up in two coats because it's a sparse topper but I think it's so pretty when it's built up like this so I highly recommend iridescent flaky or glitter toppers over light bases you can go dark but in my opinion I think they look so pretty over light bases like this or in a second you'll see it over something different which is also very special so here i'm using another iridescent flaky topper this is moonshine manny i saw the shine which i love so so much i'm layering this over a very shimmery base and i think that just gives a very ethereal vibe or if you want to do something different you can use a red cream and apply an iridescent topper over that when you're picking a cream for the iridescent topper, the one to go underneath it, I recommend just pulling out something that kind of complements it. So this one from Hollow Taco has 
really fiery orange flakes and I just thought the red complemented really well but I feel like at the end of the day when it comes to iridescent flaky toppers I just love them over something very delicate so when it just looks like I don't know how to describe it it just looks ethereal to me so that is how I like to wear my iridescent flaky toppers I know a lot of people like to just put them over black but I think it's really fun to wear them over the polishes you've seen here so light linear hollow shimmer or a cream if you want and now I am moving into the shimmer based toppers so I am using KB shimmer in good spirits over this really beautiful purple cert color I kind of went with like the green and purple they kind of just contrast but also look really good together and then on my middle finger I'm using it's a shimmer based topper that also has iridescent flakes and I layered it over another shimmer so you can totally mix two different shimmers together I think it gives a really cool effect in this case and I don't know I just think it's a really fun combo and here I applied these creams really badly so just don't look at them too closely but this is a shimmer based topper that also has hollow flakes in it and I really love this over I don't know I just really like my toppers over light polishes so lilac purpley bases are one of my favorites and I chose this because it kind of complements the purple shimmer or I guess it's a blue shimmer but it works really well and then on my other finger I used a guess peachy light nude on me cream and then I put Cirque Colors Rosé all day which has transparent holographic glitters and I kind of just played off the delicateness of the glitters and chose a base that would work really well to once again give like a very delicate effect that's how I like to wear them and for other toppers generally if you want a delicate look, I highly recommend using just a ridge filling base coat and that's it, which is what I've done here on my index nail. And I'm applying Polished for Days Love Bug 2.0, which is one of my favorite toppers. And on my middle finger, I actually use the Polished for Days Soft Focus Plum Taupe base, which I think works really well in this instance. Personally, it gives a very delicate look and then when you put really fun glitter toppers like Cirque Colors Kaleidoscope, I think it just makes them stand out really nicely. I don't know. Okay, I keep saying I don't know, but I do know. I really like glitters over bare nails or almost bare looking nails. So like I said, use a ridge filling base coat just on its own or something like the, I guess they're called visible nail line blurring base coats like the polish for days I just think they're a really easy good base to use for any type of topper but particularly glitter toppers and continuing with glitter toppers and my passion for light bases I've got another lilac -y base and I'm using my Orly hits the spot Lisa Frank topper which I really really love glitter toppers like this and this one is so fun I thought it would be really pretty to layer it over something light yet again when you're picking a base for a glitter topper like this I always try to avoid a color that is in the glitter because it kind of makes those glitters disappear so that's why I chose that base and then on my other finger I use basically any sort of jelly polish I think that jelly polishes work really really well as a base for glitters it just adds to like the squishy effect and I love that and now I had to show this off even though it's no longer available it is enchanted polish rainbow dust one of the best ever hollow flaky toppers and here you can see it over a multi-chrome I've got KB shimmer no illusions which you saw at the beginning of the video and I layered Cirque Colors Delirium and enchanted polish rainbow dust because I think you can layer up toppers because they have different sizes and it works really well. 
And here is another type of iridescent topper from Girly Bits. This one, I kind of want to say it's like Mylar Flakes, but it's not. And I layered this over top of the other two flaky toppers that you saw to give a different effect. You can't really see it in my lights, but you're going to see it in a second. I personally love doing this, just like layering up a hollow flaky topper over any polish and then putting a iridescent flaky topper over that. And it just creates something that you can't recreate with a single polish in my opinion. So that's my tip on that. And now I really love using these sort of sheer shimmery bases and this Paint It Pretty polish is available still. I think it works really well as a base. So I'm using Batsy again from Rogue Lacquer, which is the black flaky topper. And then I'm also using Off Tropic on my other nail. I applied it very sparsely, as you can see. And then on top of those, I am adding iridescent toppers, because why not? So I like to put the like most light or least visible type of topper last. So in this case, that would be the iridescent flakes. So I put those on after I put on whatever else I want to put on. And as you can see, it's just simply magical. You kind of have to angle your nail. I have to angle my nail for you to see it, but I just think it's so pretty. And this is the longest video ever. I am a huge, huge, huge fan, like I said, of squishy jellies as bases. So I used Cirque Colors Linen and then I layered on an iridescent flaky topper and then I put on Paint It Pretty Polish Disco Ball, which you just saw me apply. And lastly, I'm adding ILNP Confetti to create this like party on your nails. So... I just violated my own rule where I said I put the lightest on top, but it works. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with a with combining anything. So, I mean, like I said, these are just guidelines. You can take it or leave it. It's just what I like to do. And the very last polish that I'm going to show you this combination is one of those Paint It Pretty Polish multi-chrome flake toppers. They apply so beautifully. And then last but not least, I'm applying Girly Bits Flake It Till You Make It, which is an amazing iridescent flaky topper for an actual party on my nails. I will leave you with this. I just love this combination so much. I think I'm going to wear it every day for the rest of my life. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. And like I said, if if for nothing, then just like looking at me paint my nails with really beautiful polishes. But anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts on toppers. Do you wear them? Do you not wear them? Are you going to try out any of these combinations? I'm just very interested in toppers. So let's have a discussion in the, the comments below. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for me for this video. It's probably really long. And thank you for watching. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.